Today I want to start actually talking about what tax law can do to you. What actually the so the future of tax law will be. How we can change human performance with this. But to change the world with tax law and to change sort of the human performance, it is quite important to understand human performance. Um, one of the things that I want to start with is a day in the life of. But before that, I want to ask you a question. Because I always wonder what you think is your most used object. What did you use most today? What did you use most actually the whole week? And to keep that in mind, I don't need answers, I don't need to see the things. Um, I want to... Nice one. One, one person <laughs> understands you. That's always good. It's always good to have a crowd that understands you. Um, but to tell that story, actually, I want to tell first my story. Because that's easy. Because if I want to talk about how I can improve performance from people, I have to understand people. And I think I understand myself better than most other people. So um, I'm going to start with the day in the life of me, Boba. This morning I woke up, actually, just like all of you guys did, and started with some breakfast, um, put on my running clothes, went running for around half an hour, came back all sweaty, and um, I thought, like, before I take a shower, let's grab my computer, grab my phone, um, didn't speak to my girlfriend yet, so send her some love, um, look at the presentation, because yes, I was not finished yet, and and then I said, okay, stop sweating, let's take a shower and get dressed. So I put on my clothes um, and um, put on my jacket and I went out. I went out towards here, but let's have first have a coffee, chill, check the co computer again, and um, see uh, what I have to finish. Luckily, I didn't have to be in the rain. Well, while I was making this, I thought, yes, what the heck, in Amsterdam it always rains, so probably today too. So, the next step is I'm here, doing my presentation, standing here in front of you guys, um, telling you what the future of Texta will be, telling you um, where I think it will head. Afterwards, I have to run quickly, probably do a change, do another presentation, meet some people, and um, and head into the city. So after that moment, I have my dinner. I hope I can talk about what we need to do. And I love ramen. Only problem with ramen is that I always spill all the food around over my clothing, and then I have to change again because I think tonight it's um, student night. So um, you always you, when I was studying on Thursday, I was party. So what the heck, maybe tonight too. But I do have to change in some other clothes. And after that, I luckily can go to my fresh bed again. So, why did I tell this story about my whole day? So why is it important to know what I've been doing if I want to change that thing? So, it's important to know what you're doing to understand what you needed. So all the steps that I took today and what I'm going to take I, will, I want to perform on my best, saying that I want to perform here on my best. And tell me, also me, I was like standing here, and I was like, oh shit, okay, I'm going to be sweating for the second time today, first running, now this. Um, I hope my wooden shirt will not smell bad, working. But coming back to the question that I asked you in the first hand, is what is your most used object? And I know for sure that a lot of you guys even that I started my talk with text, I thought, wow, I use my phone most. I know for sure, like that's the thing that I use most. And it's logic, it's logic that you think that, because you use it for a lot of different things. But, of course, after this story and why I'm standing here, you will understand that through the whole day, you're using textile. You're wearing it, you're touching it, you're, you're drying yourself with it, and all the day through, um, it's helping you to do the things you do and to perform on a simple way. So understanding that you use that as the most 
You need to understand how we make the Excel to know if you can make it better for you. And if you can make it a material that, that you perform better. So, from the yarn to the product, I developed textile. We start with the yarn. And the moment I understand that I'm running, I know that the, the yarn should help me dry faster. The moment that I'm standing here and sweating, I know it should be antibacterial, so it doesn't smell. So understanding that, towards that, I know which machine I use. So you can make, make a better material. If you understand how to make a better material, you can give it a better shape. So you can move better in it. Think of the running. Or think of me standing here and opening my pants to air. That was actually something that I didn't think of that I had that, but it was handy. Um, then you can make the best clothing piece or thing for that moment. So it's pointing towards a better product. One thing that I find important in fashion. But I want to do one step back. Go back to the mobile phone. Because why is it as logic that you thought of your mobile phone? And why are we using it so much? So one thing that I um, said earlier is that the mobile phone now is used for a lot of things. But remember when we had the mobile phone in the beginning of the 90s? Of in the end of the 90s and we had the phone and it was just to send a text message and to call with it. With only two functions. But everybody had a different phone. And all the students and all the like, people in high school had a Nokia 3310 with a different cover because we wanted to be different. I needed to look different, needed to look better, because we're all different people. We all want to have another image and different shades. And now when we get our phone, and honestly, if you would get your phone now, and then look to the person left to you, and right, we all have the same phone. And is that because we don't want to differentiate anymore? Or that we don't want to look different? Or that it's not part of our image? I don't think that's the case. I think it's the case because it's doing all these other things now for you. It's helping you park your car, if you have a car. It's, it's, doing, um, it's waking you up in the morning, and it's doing all those different things, and that's why you use it all the time. And when we think about fashion and clothing, what does it actually do for you, really? Okay, you have sports clothing, but it protects you, at the one hand, and on the other hand, it's your image. And to explain that, I want to actually explain one thing. That's the difference between fashion, that is an art form, not a necessity. It's an art form to express yourself, who you are here in the world. Or apparel. And apparel is the thing that we wear, the clothing, to protect us and we cannot be around naked. Uh, that's a thing in the Western world that's not totally accepted anymore, so we have to get dressed. So apparel is actually covering you. And I don't want to go into the whole talk of fast fashion, why it's so bad. I just want to clarify that it's now a democracy how everybody can be part of fashion. But I say that's fast fashion. That's not an art form. How we look today is because we just had things to do. We're not here all because we are showing our fashion in the sense of an art form. So I want to go back to the mobile phone. As I said, we all now have this more or less the same mobile phone because it does more for you. So now we all have totally different apparel because it only does one thing for you. And the point where I want to go is, I believe the moment that clothing is going to do more for you than just protect you, you're not, you're not going to wear all these different things all the time. You're not going to have a closet of 20 t-shirts because it just looks different, the one has another print. Now you're going to wear that piece that's going to help you with your well-being. It's going to help you through your daily life. It's going to help you show you around town. It's going to help you to meet your friends. It's going to help you with all the things that actually your mobile phone is doing. 
Because your mobile phone is now your interface to the world. That's how we all use it, that's how we think. But actually, it's an extension of your body. So what if your body is going to be the next interface? Because I've been talking about my day, and my phone was there, but actually, my clothing was there with every move I made. Knew exactly where I was. So, we did a project with CWI, Center of Mathematics and Computer Science here in Amsterdam, where actually I was doing more or less a talk like this. The only difference was that I was wearing a t-shirt wired up that you can see my heart rate, and you could see if I was moving around, even that you saw that too, but the connection of heart rate, me moving around, and uh, my galvanic skin response, if I was focused or not, actually told the audience if I was nervous. I told you guys that I was sweating, but do you really know if I was nervous? That's not really a thing. So, but the technology was not uh, the goal to be in the sweater. No, the technology was just a mean to show um, and to help. So we wired up the whole audience with sensors that showed me if the audience was focused. If the audience was looking at me or if the audience was just on the cell phone again. And due to that, I knew exactly at what moment I was losing the audience or that I was telling something difficult or that I was just boring. But the moment that I saw that, I could change something to it. So technology there helped me to perform better, to do it better on stage. So if technology is not the goal, that's why I don't want to talk about wearable technology. Because I'm also not t t talking about um, technology washing machine or um, the technology that's in a car. It's just there. It's there to help us. So I believe that the moment we integrate technology in clothing, that's the next generation of clothing. Clothing is going to be, for me, the next interface. And if that's so, I'm more than happy that to wear one suit to show me around town. And sometimes when I have a wedding, I'll wear something different, of course, because then I want to show my fashion. I'm still a fashion designer. But in the end, I just want to have that suit to show me around. And I'm wondering if you guys, if clothing would help you with your well-being every day and will help you with all the things you're doing and that maybe now your phone is partly doing, would you want to wear less clothing then too? Thanks. <laughs>